First up on Robin's Kitchen is a crunchy apple fennel salad with candied pecans. Summertime is here and the perfect dinner is the salad because you know what? We do not want to turn on the oven or the stove burning up, you know? So salads are refreshing um, and there's so many different variations of salads that we can make. You know, forget about your plain old green salad that you get at the store. There are so many vegetables out there that we can make excellent salads. You hear me? Good salads. So, the first one I'm gonna make today for you guys is the apple fennel salad. So, I have here sliced uh, Granny Smith apples. So I sliced them real thin, core and sliced Granny Smith apples. We need that tartness. I have fennel chopped. Look at it. And then fennel is, like I said, a root vegetable. It is so good, it's sweet. It has almost like a, hmm. It's crunchy, but it has like a, mm, a licorice, not licorice, but like a, yeah, licorice flavor, but it's so good. It smells good. It's like, mmm. So we have the fennel. And then, oh, my um, fennel prawns that are going to go in the salad. I have to and correct myself people, again. It's fronds um, add with also an F, celery to not the prawns with a P. Remember, Fennel and celery are cousins, they're related. So they will pair well together. We're gonna make an apple cider vinaigrette for this delicious salad. So we're gonna start off with some raw apple cider vinegar. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, strong, okay. And then we're gonna add extra virgin olive oil. So we're gonna have more oil than vinegar we're gonna add a little bit of honey some raw this is some uh, clover honey right here some honey and a little pepper a little black pepper and a pinch of salt all right this is some sea salt all right, so let's get our little whisk. Unsure on how to cut fennel, please refer to the Quick Bites video where I show you how to cut fennel, apple, and watermelon. Just gonna coat all of that. Mm. It's a light salad. <laughs> so let's add our fennel. And I soak my fennel in a little um, water and lemon juice because I don't want it to turn brown. And we have our apple slices, Granny Smith apples. And our fennel. See, it's, you know, real light fennel. And here, let's mix it together. With the dressing. Yes. Look. Okay, let's add a little to this bowl and let's try it out. Uh oh, I forgot to add the candied pecans, but don't worry, I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the segment. Let's try a little bit. That dressing takes it to another level. The crunchiness of the fennel, the tartness of the apple, the acidity of the apple cider vinegar, the sweetness of the honey. I can eat a big bowl of this. This is delicious. Apple fennel salad, y'all. And one additional note, sometimes we make mistakes, but it's all good. 
We can always correct them. I forgot to add the candied pecans to the salad. This adds an additional crunch element and a different texture, um, which takes this salad to another level. I got the candy pecans from Trader Joe's. You can get them in the uh, where they have the nuts and dried fruits. You can get candied pecans or walnuts, whatever you prefer, um, at any store. But like I said, don't forget to add your candied pecans. Do you want to take your boring salad to the next level? Well, this watermelon arugula salad will have your taste buds singing. One of my favorite salads of all time is a watermelon arugula salad, and it has the kick of the feta cheese, which is salty. It gives you that saltiness. The watermelon gives you the sweetness, and then the arugula is this little green right here. It's little, but it packs a lot of flavor. It's peppery, it has a kick to it, so it holds up to the sweetness of the watermelon and the saltiness of the feta cheese. We're gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette for this salad. We are gonna omit the salt in the vinaigrette because the feta cheese has a lot of salt. So a little bit of the cheese goes a long way. So let's start with assembling the salad dressing. So I have my um, balsamic vinaigrette here. Just gonna put a little. That's enough. Then I have my extra virgin olive oil. Okay, Let me bring that together. No, we don't want to drown our salad with a lot of dressing because we have the feta. We want to taste all. The, we want to taste all the goodness. We want to taste the arugula. We want to taste the watermelon. We are going to use brown sugar. Usually with the balsamic, you use honey, but I'm going to use brown sugar with this today. A little brown sugar. That's about a tablespoon of brown sugar. I think I may need a little bit more uh, olive oil. So let me add some more olive oil to this. Ooh, take the top off, Robin. See? <laughs> This is live, okay? So let's take the top off. Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna add my black pepper. My black pepper to this. Ooh, that peppery kick. So let me get my tongs out. We're gonna first add the arugula, because you want that arugula to get all that dressing. So that arugula, woo yes. The arugula, Ooh, a couple pieces on my cutting board. Yes, we want to dress all of that arugula. Now we're going to add a few pieces of the watermelon. I made them in little pieces. Um, you don't want them too big. The watermelon. Oh, the sweetness of this watermelon. Mm -mm -mm. You can add more or less watermelon. Oh, I, I, I can smell that pepper. Woo! Now let's add our feta cheese. Yes. I love feta. I love feta cheese. One of my favorites. Oh, no. Those are big chunks. So I just want a little bit of feta. Like I said, it's super salty. Mm. A little bit of feta. Better makes it better. Better makes it better. <laughs> All right, Pay <Pamela> Bill. <laughs> All right, so let's put a little bit of this salad in one of my bowls. A little cute little bowl. Let's try it out. Let's see how it tastes. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the feta cheese, the watermelon and the arugula. Let's 
see how this tastes. Mmm. Oh! Mmm. That balsamic vinaigrette? I'm telling you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. This salad is amazing. I don't miss any meat. This right here, oh my God. One of my favorites. Watermelon, balsamic vinaigrette, feta cheese, and arugula. Man, try it out. Do you have a bunch of fruit left over in your refrigerator and you don't know what to do with it? Let's make a salad. Have you ever went to the store and bought a lot of fruit and then you think to yourself, I'm not gonna eat all this. What am I gonna do with all this fruit? You can always make a salad. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I looked in my refrigerator, I said, let me see what I got. So I had some red grapes. I quartered them, some red grapes. I had three nectarines that I cut, sliced, chopped it up. I had a cantaloupe that I sliced up. And then I have some more of the watermelon from the um, watermelon fitted salad. So we're gonna just put this all together. We're gonna put a little lime juice on there, a little cayenne, cause I like a little heat. A little heat, heat, not for real. And then a little bit of honey and bring it all together. It's a quick salad. It's gonna take us less than a minute to put it together. So let's put our cantaloupe, nectarine, grapes, mm -mm -mm. Oh, that color, and some watermelon. Watermelon. Look at all that watermelon juice in there. Bring this together. I don't want it to spill out. I should have got a bigger bowl, huh, y'all? That's all good. It's gonna work itself out. It's gonna work itself out. Yeah. Okay. So let's put a little bit of the lime juice all through there. A little lime. A little pitch of cayenne. Not a lot. Leave it to me. Look at all that cayenne. A little bit more, or you can use um, chili powder as well. So you can do like chili powder. It's not as spicy, but I like spice. Okay, I like a little spice. Let's get some of this honey. This good old Louisiana raw honey. Yeah, put that on there. Mm. Louisiana raw. Ooh. You can have this breakfast, lunch, whatever, with your dinner as a side dish, as a dessert. All right, so let's put a little bit in this little, you know, my little cute little serving dish. A little bit of it. Okay. My little fork. Let's try it out. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. You get the kick of the cayenne in the back end. You're like, whoa, okay. But it's not overpowering. The grapes. Nice and crunchy grapes. Let's try some of this nectarine. It's the season. Always get seasonal fruit. Because they're going to be fresh and the most flavor during the season. Mm. This is so good. So there you have it, a quick fruit salad. Use whatever fruits you have in your refrigerator. It doesn't have to be the same fruits I have here, but whatever you have in a refrigerator, you can make a quick fruit salad, make a little lime dressing, 